Hello, I'm Ben Thompson. You're watching The Context on BBC News. In the past hour, it has been announced that the American-born singer Tina Turner has died at the age of 83. Hello to you, welcome to the programme. News just breaking in the last hour that the US-born singer-songwriter Tina Turner has died at the age of 83. She was widely known as the queen of rock and roll and rose to prominence as the lead singer of the Ike and Tina Turner Review before launching a successful career as a solo performer. Well, in a statement, a representative said that Tina Turner, the queen of rock and roll, has died peacefully today at the age of 83 after a long illness in her home near Zurich in Switzerland. With her, the world loses a music legend and a role model. While David Silito looks back now at her life, a warning this report does contain flashing images. Nineteen sixty six, Riverdeep Mountain High. In your face, hip shaking, sweat drenched, passionate pop perfection. And you, I love you, my friend. However, in America, the song was a flop. It would be another seventeen years before Tina Turner truly made it. Annie Mae Bullock grew up in Nutbush, Tennessee. Her family were sharecroppers. She started singing in Ike Turner's band when she was a teenager. And poor, largely abandoned by her parents, it was, she hoped, her escape. But it was an escape into a different sort of misery. There were hits, and the world saw a confident, powerful woman on stage. But the acid queen in Tommy was in private fearful of her violent, controlling husband. Finally, in 1976, she walked out. Which I did try to leave, and the first time was when I had the experience of being whipped with a wire hanger, wow. and then another time was something else, uh, and I realized, well, you don't go back. Her career, though, was in the doldrums. However, there was a place that had long been more receptive to the Tina Turner magic, Britain. <laughs> Let's Stay Together was a collaboration with the creative team behind Heaven 17. A new British manager and backing from artists such as David Bowie helped turbocharge her career. Oh, what's love got to do, got to do what followed was hit after hit. But a second hand emotion. We don't need another hero. A film role in Mad Max. But how the world turns. One day cock of the wall, next to feather dust. And in the year 2000, she was 60 years old and the biggest selling concert artist in the world. From Annie Mae Bullock and the church choir of Nutbush Baptist Church to multi-platinum selling Buddhist rock and roll superstar living in Switzerland. The extraordinary Tina Turner. That's Tina Turner who has died at the age of 83.